such a nice car, clown. Ooh, wait. It's a real nice car. Let's see what we got going on underneath the hood over here. It's all decorated. Let's see. Ew. What the hell is this? Ugh. Oh. Boop. what you call an oil coolant leak. So the oil cooler was cracked or the seal came apart and leaked into the coolant line which cools the oil. So now my temps are running as far as uh, the oil goes up to 240, 244, or the 224, 224. And the coolant, and the coolant is coolant 206. 206 to 210. That's not a good sign. That means I can't drive this car for long periods of time. 30 minutes, I gotta sit and let it cool off. But so, if I continue to do this, that's a blown head gasket. So what you about to do about that clam? So what we gotta do is replace the oil cooling, the oil cooler, and flush the radiator with some Mopar radiator fluid. And she should fix the problem. Yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna see how that come out. Mo Dodge, Mo Mods. You, you know, know what it is. is. Welcome back to Mo Dodge Mo Mods, where we, you know what I'm all about, modifications, right? Well, here's the breakdown, guys. Um, so my scat pack is having a little problems, and I don't know if this has been circulated on the uh, YouTube as much as I think for your newer body or your newer model um, SRTs or scat packs but for the most part I'm back at my favorite mechanic uh, Thunderbird Automotive as you can see he's lined up with a bunch of vehicles as he is but you know I'm VIP so you know what I do is I call I'm coming in he be like all right come on I get here and they you know they valet pull it in and everything that's just that's just the service that you get when you VIP but I'm right here getting um, the car service because there is now oil in my coolant. Typically what that means, uh, for those who are aware, if you get oil in your coolant, it's more than likely the oil cooler, which has either failed, cracked, and has leaked into the coolant line. And then it fills your reservoir, it fills your uh, radiator, uh, you have to change the cooler line or the cooler, the oil cooler itself, which runs about, <clears throat> yeah, so about 380, yeah, 300. Um, but for the most part, you know, uh, the parts you're going to need, um, without a doubt, um, when this happens to your car, is a mechanic. <laughs> you can do it yourself if you got a, a, a pressure line hose that you can um, pressure clean the hose that runs through your engine but if you don't uh yeah you're gonna need a mechanic to get this stuff done it's 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 a tedious job to say the least uh but the parts you're gonna need is an oil cooler okay oil cooler from your dealership um you're gonna need um radiator fluid me i, pr I prefer concentrated because you get more gallons you know you get two gallons per one gallon of concentrated um and all the parts and stuff will be in my, my description. Mind you, this is for probably 2019 to 2022 Dodge Chargers and maybe even Challengers. I'm not really sure. Um, but you're going to need a new filter, oil filter. Um, you're going to need um, a thermostat. Um, standard thermostat is fine for you guys who are performance drivers. You may want to get a uh, performance thermostat. Like a, I don't know if they got 360 or 180, whatever. Um, 
Standard should work just fine. They, they, they all will do the same. But, um, yeah, these are the things you're going to need. You're going to have to flush your radiator out. Um, every oil change um, when this occurs. It's going to be expensive for me, to say the least. But stay tuned. Mo Dodge. <laughs> Mo Mods. So as you can see, guys, we got we had drained the, uh, the radiator fluid and all the oil that came out of it. You see the culprit. It's a bad oil cooler. When you do these jobs, you have to change the oil cooler, the oil filter, as well as the thermostat. Um, especially when you run in high temps. Back with my favorite mechanic here. He's getting it done. Look at, look at that. And he just gave me advice as far as how to actually get all of this fluid out. All the oil out of the uh, cooling line is you're going to have to, at every oil change, you're going to have to flush the radiator, um, which makes sense uh, for at least three cycles um, to get it done. But, uh, and as far as cooling goes, you may want to go with concentrated because it's cheaper than getting four of these. I don't know if it's four or two gallons, but. I decided to get two concentrated with just, just about the same price. That way you have more coolant as what I will need. And you're going to need some distilled water. Get it at your local food store. Uh, and that's after you flushed it out with soap and water and salt. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's where we're at. Mopar Predators up there. Getting on hay, I think it's a factory defect, and it, it, it only makes sense. It's a 2021. There's no reason for this to happen. And I, I don't do hard driving, so um, I'll keep you guys posted. Thunderbird Automotive is where I go, my mechanic, when I can't do jobs. Uh, that you know, if I can't do the job myself, um, you got two lines, one here. You got your drainer here for your radiator and your cooler lines goes to where the the uh fuel filter is located easy to look like just unclamp once you've drained it from the radiator and um just let the hose pour out um a few times but i'll keep you guys posted stay tuned doing guys is he's uh, pressure cleaning the hoses to get them as clean as possible uh, that's a lot of oil that was in the uh, pressure lines and uh, yeah and this is not some shit you can do yourself I mean you could <laughs> I wouldn't advise it definitely got to get the reservoir as you can see the oil just stained the inside of it on a 2021 my reservoir should not look like this. This looks like an 07 reservoir. Well, made it home. Finally. Uh, so she drove pretty well. You know, I think after a little ordeal like that, I may have to clean it up, but... Let's see. Well, she's not even hot. Everything looks good. Definitely gonna need another. Let's see, I still got stuff on the top. So three cycles, like you said, to get it all out. As you know, oil rises and bubbles to the top when mixed with water or any type of other fluid. So three cycles. Once I do the oil change, I have to do a radiator flush, and uh, that should take care of it. I mean, at least my temperatures are back to normal, um, <clears throat> and she's purring like a kitten for the most part. So that's it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll let you guys know what the next mod's going to be. Stay tuned.